In this video, we're going to explore how we can uh, move our legend in different positions. So this is a question from one of our viewers who was asking, can you display the legend on the left vertically? You have it displayed horizontally. So let me explain what he's referring to here. It's one of my videos here. I'm showing you how you can adjust the position of the legend. And now we're going to focus specifically on moving it to the left vertically, because normally what I, what's by default, it's always horizontally. So we're going to put it at this side here. So how can we do this? Well, first of all, we have our text here, or we have our template, and this is the template that we have. And what we want to do is eventually is we want to adjust the legend. To do that, well, you can see here right now, these are the sales of our milk tea. You can see every day the daily sales and uh, the different type of flavors we have. So let's go here first to the Chart.js website. This is very important because here you will see most of the things and here you can find most of it. And this is currently, by the way, if just to be uh, just a uh, heads up, uh, Chart.js version 2.9. I know Chart.js version 3.0 it's currently in beta, it's going to come out very soon, soon in more advanced level or when it's officially. However, right now we're just using 2.9. Probably the difference between 2.9 and 3.0 regarding to legend will be minimal. All right, so what we're going to do is here is we're going to click on legend. And here on legend, we have the information here. We can see here options le legend, that's what we need to do. And then we need to reassign the position. And as you can see here, the options, top, left, bottom, and right. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go back here. So what is the text here? First of all, we're going to select option, and in the option, we put in the legend, and in here, we say position, which is by default a string, all right? So that's very important. Let's go now here to our, um, what is it, our HTML file. And in our HTML file, we're going to adjust it here. So we have here the options, and then in the option, we put in a comma, and then here we indicate legend. Uh, legend, of course, make sure you spell it correctly. And then because this is an array, and in this array, we're going to add the next value. So what is the next value? We'll say position. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say position. And this is, of course, a value. We put in here sync quotations. Oh, uh, sorry, this is not what I need to do. I need to put in here sync quotations. We don't have to put in here the array. This is not an array, this is only a value. Yes. So once we got that position, and we say here, left. Let's save this. Once we save this, I go back here and let's refresh the page. Now, as you can see, the chart is being impacted. However, we're now pushing it to the left. And this is exactly what you want, what you're looking for. However, we can even do some adjustments as well if you want to align them to the right or center them or put them at the very end. So what we can do is we can do align, which is also string, center, and if you click here for more alignment options, start, center, end. Let's try that. Then we say here, we put in a comma because there's another value coming, and then we say here align, column, and then here single, uh, single rotation, and in here we can say end. Once we save this, go back here, let's go back to the chart here, we refresh. Now, you can see what happened is basically, we are now repositioning it from here. Or at least, what is here now? The end. The end is at the bottom here. The center is here and top is above. Or beginning is above. So let's show that as well. Start. We do start, refresh, and you can see it moves up. So basically, once you put them here to the left, you're basically position, uh, uh, make a structure for vertical alignment. And then the vertical alignment will match up. It will match up with the vertical alignment. And this is basically how you can do, according to this question here, how can we display it left vertically? So if you like these kind of videos, and you, or you have some questions or you're struggling with Chart.js, Check out my Udemy course. It's in the description in the description box down below the video. And if you have any questions regarding this, just post them here as well. I'll try to get this cover as many as possible.